I'm Suzanne McNeil with Design Originals and today I want to tangle a butterfly. So this is sort of a fun project. Uh, there are two sizes of square tiles from Zentangle.com. There's the large, the classic tile, and there's the new little miniature bijou tile. Hope I pronounced that correctly, it's in French. So I've taken four bijou tiles today and I took my pencil and I drew the outline of a string. And so now I'm going to tangle those. I just wanted to be sure it was uh, quite symmetrical. So I'm using my O1 Micron pen and I'll just go right over that line. I did miss it a little bit in one spot, but that's why they make microns in more than one size. So now I'm going to take the one micron, which is a wider tip, and I'm just going to sort of go over this line, but I'm also going to make a second line. And I'm intentionally making it uh, wider in some areas than other areas because when I color it in, it'll give him a real nice outlined look. I'm just going to color in in between those two lines. I just love Zentangle. It just, I can pass hours in the evenings. And not only is it relaxing and meditative, but um, it also, I end up with what I consider really nice artwork at the end also. They make great little gifts and cards. So now I'm going to use the larger pin on his antenna. And I sort of like a, a dot in the center. So now I'm going to go back to my O1 micron. And I'm just going to divide this into another area. So now I have two sections. This section, I'm going to use a little leafy pattern. I drew the center, and now I'm drawing figure eight. And those make a little leaf on the wing. It's really sort of a light, lacy pattern. Easy to do. Just continue drawing those little figure eights. I started with them large, but now I'm doing smaller. So now I have this section down here. Well, you know one of my, well, maybe I'll do a flower here. So I'm going to do a print temp, spiral center. And now I'm going to draw a line with a nice dot on the end. I'm going to make four of those, like in a cross shape. And now I'm going to make a cross in between those shapes so I end up with eight petals. Now if I outline those, it makes a really simple, nice flower shape. If I feel like it needs a I can add that little figure eight leaf. And now I really like these. Um, with a little color on them. So I'm going to start, and these are just uh, Prismacolor pencils. They come in like hundreds of colors. I've just chosen a few. I can color in my little leaves. And those Micron pens are really permanent. You can actually put watercolor right over them and they won't run. Or today I'm using the colored pencils just because they give a really nice look. I'm going to do my flower in orange. You might notice I, I'm sort of going in a uh, circular motion. That way I, uh, you don't see the uh, pencil lines. Just continue building up those circles until it's as dark as you like. You can do many layers. In the, uh, in the background I'm going to do a little bit of yellow. Gives a nice look. In the center, I'm going to do red. And then I thought it was sort of nice to, uh, instead of shading with a regular graphite pencil, I'm shading with the colored pencil, doing a little bit of blue here. So I'm doing it darker right next to the butterfly, just depending on how much pressure you put on the pencil or how many layers you do is how dark it is. 
and I'm completely finished with this little small tile. So let me show you what I'm doing with these. Oh, and let me show you what I'm going to do with this. These are the little uh, pencil stubs that we use to uh, shade for shading. So here's a finished butterfly. You, you just have hundreds of options as to how you're going to put them together. And here's another one. Here's another one. Now the fun thing is these are actually sort of mix and match. So I can take this bottom and I can put it right here. So I'm changing my butterfly uh, flies around. So with all these tiles, I have dozens of options for how to do my butterflies. And I told you I'd show you what to do with these. I took my paper stump and my number one micron and put just a geometric design. And that's the butterfly's body. So once I frame these, they will be really pretty little pieces. So where do I get my tangles and some of my ideas? The butterflies are original to this YouTube, but this book, Zentangle uh, 10, is wonderful. It has over 30 new patterns, little paper dolls, lots of birds, patterns, and here's how the tangles come. Like, you might look at this one and wonder, oh my goodness, I'm not an artist, what do I do? But you can see the step outs very clearly show each step how to accomplish the finished tangle. So lots of ideas in this Entangle workbook. Enjoy!